Try this matchup. Low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's. Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats Video Extra, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. It is the Wednesday edition. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Daniel Burke. DB, it's almost football season. How is that possible? Uh, you know what? I don't know. That's a great question. It feels like we were just wrapping uh, things up in Shreveport, Louisiana. Beautiful Shreveport at the AdvoCare Bowl. And, uh, and here we are. I mean, spring ball almost over. And then, you know, the time goes fast. But when you get into the fall camp, so it really does feel like we're almost there. Sure. The Wildcats hold their final spring practice of the year tonight. And then, obviously, they have their spring game Saturday at Arizona Stadium. Uh, the big story throughout camp, I think there's probably been two of them. Number one is... Who is going to replace Kadeem Carey? Number two is who's you know who is going to be the starting quarterback on this team? B.J. Danker gone, graduating. Obviously, it's been a three or four man race. Rich Rodriguez has not been thrilled with anybody, but as you wrote earlier this week, one guy really seems to have taken sort of those steps to be the starter. Tell me about Mr. Jesse Scroggins. Well, he, he's had a great spring. Yeah. Um, both from what I've seen, you know, when we're allowed to watch and, and when they have open practices and from what I've heard talking mm -hmm. to people around the program. And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, th this kid was a highly touted guy coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. USC fizzles mm -hmm. out there. I mean, we know, we know his story by now. And just came in last year and I think thought the job was going to be handed to him. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about Rich Rodriguez, which you certainly do, mm -hmm. having covered him, he doesn't hand anyone anything. anything. Um, so BJ Danker outworked him. Mm -hmm. He learned the playbook better. He, you know, did more of what they needed and he became the starting quarterback. Now I think Scroggins has started to put in some of that work. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just had a really good spring and it was never an issue of his talent, his arm strength, his athleticism, mm -hmm. anything like that. It was, will he devote himself to the weight room? Will he devote himself to the film room? And mm -hmm. he has. So, uh, you know, is he the favorite at this point? I don't know. I don't think so. But has he helped himself uh, the most mm -hmm. out of anyone this spring? Probably. Yeah, Jesse Scroggins certainly is a guy who uh, is a card-carrying member of the all-lobby team. He's a guy who looks good in a uniform. He's a yes. guy who can make all the throws. He's a guy who, when you see him, you go big-time player. Yes. Maybe the kind of big-time player that Arizona was not getting before Rich Rodriguez got here. If he can top out and live up to his potential, if he can play as well at the U of A as he played in high school, what is his ceiling? Well, it's it's really high, especially when you talk about the receivers that he's going to have to throw to. Mm. Um, yes, B.J. Danker had Kadeem Carey, but I think that you know if it's Jesse Scroggins or whoever it is next year, they're going to have more weapons uh, to mess with uh, than Danker did. So if he can get to his ceiling and he can play well and he can deliver the ball mm. uh, accurately and he can make the smart decisions, this can be a really fun and dangerous offense. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, can he get there? And I think Saturday, you know, the spring game is a big deal for him. Um, he's done it now, you know, for a couple weeks in practice. Now there's going to be a few thousand people in the stadium. Mm -hmm. um, there's some expectations again. Can he go out there and can he play well? And the thing that's really jumped out to me uh, about him is it's not just that he's reaching a ceiling um, talent-wise. Watching him in the, in the open scrimmage last week, I mean, he's just – playing with so much energy and enthusiasm. He's running up to his teammates and he's slapping them on the helmet and he's mm -hmm. just playing with a different energy that the other quarterbacks aren't right mm -hmm. now because I think they're still maybe scrambling in their head a little bit. So he just seems ahead of the game in, in that regard. Sure, this is the Arizona Wildcats video notebook brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. Ryan Finley here with Daniel Burke. Daniel, while we're talking about quarterbacks, Anu Solomon is a guy who came in perhaps overhyped as a true freshman, uh, did not play after losing out on the starting job in camp. He's six months older. He's going through his first spring ball. I know that there are still some growing pains there. What does the coaching staff see in him, and uh, what's the most likely role for him going forward? Well, from what I understand, talking to people around the program, there are days when they walk off the, the practice field and they're like, Oh, oh man. He's I the mean, guy. Yeah. yeah. He, wow, that was good. And then there's other days when they walk off and they're just like, right. you know, they can't believe what they just saw and he's, right. he's so bad. So right. Freshman. Freshman. Right. Okay. So I think okay. it's just a consistency thing. He made some throws in that open scrimmage last week that you're just like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, I see it. And then he made some throws and you're just like, what is he doing? Mm -hmm. So um, I think that that'll get worked out. Mm -hmm. um, I think they, they like – you know, it, now it's just a matter of does he have the patience to, to work through? Is he okay if he, if he isn't the starter next year? Is he okay not being a starter for two years? That used to be commonplace 10 years ago. No one thought that you'd be a starting quarterback as a, a redshirt freshman, true freshman, or anything. So does he have the patience to work through it? Um, but he, he's getting better, and, and they've talked very highly about him. And, he you know, 
whenever, whoever you ask about, even if you're asking about Nick Isham, uh, Rich Rodriguez says he's in the mix. So, yeah, Anu Solomon, he really is in the mix, I think. Mm -hmm. It's funny, one of the, the good examples I think Anu Solomon could look to in terms of development as a quarterback is a guy by the name of Nick Foles. Yeah. You know, obviously, he started at Michigan State, played a little bit as a freshman, didn't really like his role, didn't really like, I, I think, the environment there. Transfers to Arizona, loses the starting job, gains the starting job, loses the starting job, yeah. gains the starting job, gets hurt, watches Matt Scott tear it up, comes back. I mean, he's a guy, his career was not like that his entire time. Is There's a lot of ups and downs there. And at some point when his natural leadership ability and caught up with his physical tools, he turned into a pretty darn good football player. It seems to me like Solomon is sort of a quiet leader, but a guy who's been a winner in high school. He's a guy who has some skill. Uh, it might just take a couple years for all of this to mesh, right? Yeah, and I think Foles probably had a little more intensity on the football field than Solomon does, and that may come. Um, I think the way you describe Foles is actually reminds me of Jesse Scroggins, mm -hmm. transferred one up and down, you know, and obviously had the talent. So, yeah, it's it's an interesting mix, and I think he, you know, he needs to learn to to lead a little better on mm -hmm. the field, from what I understand, to play with a little more intensity. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it took Foles some time, and it's working out pretty well for him these days. I can't imagine a better life than that guy's living. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how it works out here. Um, I, I, I don't think Rich Rodriguez thought he was going to know a starting quarterback when the spring game ends Saturday night. He's not going to, mm -hmm. and it's going to continue into the fall. So, you know, who develops the best between now and the fall, who works the hardest, and, you know, we'll see. Sure. Fun story about Nick Foles before we let you guys go. <laughs> One of the reasons Nick Foles sort of lost the starting job and gained it and lost it and gained it is because, especially when he first got to Arizona, he was not a good practice player. Right. He was a guy who – turned it on when the lights were on. Yeah. And I think that that's the one factor. We can talk about practice all you practice. want. Practice. We can talk about practice all you want. At some point, I think an Arizona quarterback will sort of unveil himself once they get under the lights and once they get some of that pressure on them. And you know, Jesse Scroggins has been in enough big situations where you think maybe he's a guy who could turn it on when the lights are on. Yeah, absolutely. There's only so much you can learn in practice, and that was something that uh, you know Rich talked about in fall camp before with B.J. Danker when he was struggling. Mm -hmm. There's only so much you can learn. It's how are you going to react when there's 50,000 people there, uh, or in the case of Arizona Stadium, sometimes 40,000, 30,000. But uh, how are you going to react when the, when the lights are bright and the people are there, and you don't know? Mm -hmm. you, you can simulate it all you want, but you don't know. And mm -hmm. um, there's only so much you can learn from a competition now, and that's why so many times Times, like with Matt Scott, he was named the starter. And then after one game, it's it's a different deal because yeah. it's just it's different when the when the bullets start flying. Daniel Burke, you look ready to strap on a helmet. I'm ready. You are I'm fired ready. up, and it's only hold on, eight, only five more months until the start of the football season. Well, you know they have a competition <laughs> at the spring game on Saturday. Can you out throw a UA quarterback? I've been practicing. Yeah. I think I can out throw those guys. So I'm hoping uh, Rich Rod gives me an opportunity. I love that. Sam, our videographer, Sam, <laughs> you now have to be at the spring game to watch Daniel Burke throw a football. Can we make that happen? <laughs> She's nodding yes. Okay, good. All right. We're going to sign off for today. For Daniel Burke, I'm Ryan Finley. This is the Arizona Wildcats Video Extra brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. We'll see you next time.